Well, a lot of you folks out there know how to build a Docker image by writing a Docker file. And uh, you probably know that uh, Docker file is uh, the source for the, you know, the images and the layers that are created uh, in the image are the result of those instructions in the Docker file. But do you know how the actual layers are built during the build process? Now there's a secret sauce behind it and that's what I'm going to explain. So go ahead and watch this explainer video now. Now this is the most exciting part about the Docker image build process, which is in effect is an iterative process. Now how does it work? How does it iterate and how does it create the layers? Answer to that you will find it in this presentation. Now let's take an example of a simple Docker file. I'm going to pick only a few instructions. Your Docker file can be really long, but I'm just talking about a few. So let's take uh, the first instruction being from. The second instruction that we would add is a work directory, uh, after which we would copy over the source code using, let's say, a copy instruction. Then we would uh, do some, you know, uh, build and install and configuration inside uh, the container using run, and then finally provide the CMD. Now let's take an example of this Docker file and let's find out how an image is built using this iteratively. Because when you run docker build command and provide this docker file as an input, it starts executing these instructions one step at a time. Step number one would be from. So it's going to read that from instruction and it actually is going to use that image defined with from as a base image. Let's uh, take an example of this base image, which has about uh, four layers to it. So this image is pulled then on the Docker host. And uh, let's again emphasize the point that it has four layers. We're talking about how layers are created. Now using this as a base, an intermediate container would be created to which Docker build process would also you know, copy over the build context. Build context is nothing but whatever is in the current directory when you run the Docker build process or whatever is in the path which you provide as a build context at the end of the Docker build command. And then inside this intermediate container, a work directory is executed. Work directory is added actually, and that creates a layer by committing that, you know, intermediate container to a new intermediate image. Now, when this image is built, uh, it's going to add this one more layer to it because the earlier layer, uh, earlier it was just four layers. Now this image would contain five with the layer for the work directory now added to this image. Now every instruction is executed this way. Now we have four layers and then that intermediate container goes away and a new one is created using this intermediate image now. And what happens here? It follows the process. So it goes and looks at the next instruction, which is going to be, as you have seen and noticed, it's copy. So it would run that copy instruction, copy over the source code or whatever, and then commit this into a new intermediate image, which creates one more layer. So now our intermediate image, this new one, would have six layers to it one for the you know four for the base image one for the work directory one for the copy and this is the process which keeps on iterating so now after this copy there would be the turn of the run instruction and then for the run instruction again an intermediate container number three would be created the run instruction would be executed inside that and that container would then be committed into a new image that is going to be another interim image with the seven layers and it's turn for our last instruction in our docker file that is the cmd so using this another intermediate container is created uh, the cmd is added to this as just a metadata and then committed into another layer another image now this image would contain the eight layers and this is a final image because all the instructions have been executed iteratively and this image is what is then tagged with whatever version and the tag that you provide. The tag typically contains the user or the namespace, user project or organization, the repository colon the version and that is how 
this iterative build happens and that's what is the secret to the image layers. Well, this year I've started adopting this new technique uh, called as explainer video. And I'm using my iPad to create these explainer, you know, uh, videos with handwritten drawings and so on. So uh, give me a feedback. So do you like this style of explainer videos? Do you think this is engaging enough? Do you think this is, um, you know, something like this would be useful for you to learn? Would it help you? Uh, do comment below. Also, if you're not already part of my, uh, the VIP private Facebook group, um, of DevOps tribe of you know the elite DevOps engineers or elite DevOps ninjas uh, definitely you know uh, join the group in, given in the link below so that you are up to date uh, with my latest of the videos explainers and more and uh, any new courses that I launch and so on so thank you and I'll see you in another video